back to the Surround Lounge. In today's session, we're going to be thinking about mastering our track and bouncing it to a final file format. Now, today we're going to be looking at Dolby Digital format, and this is the format that the Surround Lounge recommends. This is because of its perceptual encoding, and that it uh, does not copy down the sounds that are present in your DAW session, but are nonetheless copied. And in getting rid of these, there is no noticeable difference to the recording or the quality, but the file size is significantly reduced to about possibly 1 in 10 at times. Uh, also, AC3 is incredibly reliable. It's used uh, throughout loads of different media outlets, such as DVD, Blu-ray, HDTV, and it's uh, easily played through any 5.1 setup, seemingly. Now, the way that you can get your uh, session mixed down to AC3 format is relatively easy. What you want to do is bounce your track, much like you would in stereo, go to File Bounce in your DAW session. You'll want to change your file format to whatever you want to use. I'm going to go with WAV. After this, you want to select it as output type multiple mono. Multiple mono is different from interleaved, and in that interleaved is essentially one file with all of the six channels involved in one, and it doesn't really retain the information of uh, where you've automated or uh, how a reverb spreads across. Whereas in multiple mono, each channel is kept separate in its file format, uh, and you'll be able to relocate those files later. In fact, you'll be able to go to compressor. This is what you want to use. You want to take your six uh, multiple mono files and position each of them to their uh, relevant channel. For example, you want to put your center channel in the center channel file within compressor. And there you can finally bounce down to AC3. AC3s are good because of how robust they are. They're relatively small in file size. You'll be able to play it on any 5.1 setup, seemingly. Thanks for watching. I hope the Surround Lounge has helped in this, and I hope that you continue to use these methods throughout your Surround recording. Thanks very much. Hello.